What's up guys, Mike BAK, Phony here for Indie, for breakfast, for... <laughs> Let's keep rolling, for... Anyways, this game is called Smooth Operators Call Center Chaos. It is, uh, up front. It is, it, it looks a lot like Sim Tower. Uh, I've not played a lot of Sim Tower, but, you know, I know the whole fiasco between, like, Zynga and, you know, all of them stuff, trying to steal each other's work and whatnot. Uh, anyways, it does kind of have that look right off the bat, so we're gonna get in there and play it, and I'll let you guys decide how close it is to it. For those of you hardcore Sim Tower guys out there, <laughs> we're gonna val valiantly defend their game. Uh, this game is available, of course, on the Xbox Live Indie Game Market, 480 MSP, and I found it on... Uh, Steam's green light uh, a lot of times some of these games actually they release on the Xbox and then they uh, eventually end up coming out on uh, Green lights, so it's kind of nice to see them transitioning over in this case uh, It's already up there. So it's great So now I can tell you guys about it and if you guys like the game you can go give it a thumbs up if not then you know Whatever the link will be in the description below now uh, This is another game of course from the uh, normal because <laughs> I I'm terrible at these games. Uh, I have a name. Uh, that's right, I forgot. Now this thing is part of the Indie Game Uprising um, event. The Xbox Live Uprising. Uh, it's so early right now. Words are just not flowing out the way they should be. Tutorial, now I've already read all of this. So I'm saving you guys the time here. See how that works? <laughs> I don't know if I've absorbed it all, but you know. Uh, so yeah, we're on the fifth day, and this is my first contract. So fifth day in the event, we've covered lots of games, we had some ups, we had some downs, we had some ites, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I read the comments, I know how you guys feel. Uh, I know you guys, <laughs> I know you guys watch the show uh, almost exclusively to uh, butt clench, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> uh, best part about what I do is I know that there are just tons of people out there just going, oh! Oh God, I'm yelling at the screen! <laughs> uh, bite performance! You struck a deal with a new client. These new workloads are in now. Start building! Is time started yet? Not yet. Okay, good. Uh, workload, 500. IB for inbound. OB for outbounds. BO for... <laughs> Although, sometimes if you work in an office environment, that could uh, basically be body odor. But, uh, for back office, which is where the porno's at. All right. Let's get started. BIYM Incorporated shop menu. First thing we need is, uh, yeah, yeah, we need some of this. And I guess they need a way to get up there. Look at this, teleport. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll even get to that point. I have no idea how long this game lasts. Uh, I only read, came in, jumped into the tutorial, and built, put, a, made a building, and threw some dudes in there. Um, and that was pretty much, that was the extent of my, let's go ahead and check this out first because, you know, I've never played these kinds of- Where are you going?! Where's he going?! Transportation from the start, yeah, this- Are you leaving? Thoughts, after work? What? It's 9am, hold on, schedule. Shift starts, 9.39? Who the hell freaking gave- That's the worst schedule ever! Alright, let's- Oh my god, everyone's going home. Nothing's gonna get done. How much do I have tons of money? Alright, let me just let me just do all the why these guys all have ridiculous haircuts. Everybody's going home. <laughs> uh let's see, that was service. Okay, let's make a stack for just service. Put a bunch of people in there. Operation outbound, we need some outbound. So our ratio is in inbound outbound is actually pretty equal right now, so we'll just go ahead and spread it out evenly. Now can I double check? Like just in case I forget what my contracts are. Can I look at my contract somewhere? There's gotta be a contract. Uh, my clients, here we go. Uh inbound outbound, 500, 200. Okay. So we can make that pretty easy, actually. Here's what we'll do. We'll make one per hundred for each side. Outbound agent. Oh, already got uh, inbound agent. We need. Here you go. We'll only work first clients workloads. Operational staff place in non-operational building. Oh, hold on a second then. Hmm. I did put them in service, didn't I? Do I have enough money to build some more? Uh, Things here. Well, let's just put let's put food or something at the bottom. 
They're gonna want to eat, so let's go ahead and put food. I should put it next to the elevator. Will that connect to both sides? Hmm, this worries me. Well, they'll probably have to wait for it. Actually, no, it'll connect this way if I do this. Food. Installed facilities. Okay, everyone's at work. This is good. Um. Oh, I was gonna put in there. Oh, that's right. Uh, operations. Okay, sorry. Yeah, kind of reverse. You've achieved an objective. Build five buildings. Yay! Ah, see, I see now. You assign clients. Okay, great. So I can move, guys. Move. You move here. Guy, there's so many unhappy people already! What is your problem? You guys just got to work! You guys have done nothing yet! Okay, I can zoom in and out. That's good. Now, true story. I actually, uh, was... The, yeah, I guess was essentially like a uh, director of operations, assistant director of operations, uh, managed a call center, uh, both a small one and a large one remotely. There was one located in Ohio that I managed remotely, uh, and the local one was was actually, so the large, yeah, the large call center was handling all of the new customer inbounds, because we had lots of new customers that would call in, and the service portion of it was local to me. So I handled all of the, uh, Basically all the stuff whenever, you know, stuff went wrong, which was all the time. <laughs> we would get tons of service calls and whatnot. Um, I need to build, uh, I got food, sanitary, I need sanitary. Oh, I can't afford, oh my god, I can't afford a toilet. Oh no, I'm almost there. Let's speed it up a little bit. Come on. Probably need to hire like IT guys and whatnot too, but these guys probably need a bathroom. Everyone's eating, nobody's pissing. I know you guys are not happy. I, I see that. Money's not coming in though. You're gonna have to run down the street. <laughs> Handle that elsewhere. So many unhappy people. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, zero. I got extra posit. Nice. Sorry, I can't help. Please hang up. I hate customers. It was my fault. Don't scream at me. Please hang up. Oh. Jeez. Oh god, their their life bar is going down. All right, let's speed up a little bit here. Now, um, the workforce that I managed locally, this is this is actually the the, the job that I left, the, the corporate job, right? I call it the corporate or the private sector or whatever. Um, the corporate job that I worked, that's that's what it was. That's why I left to go and do the gaming thing. Uh, it made it made really good money, <laughs> uh, but uh, I felt like doing video games for some reason would actually work out, and it did. It does. It works out. Um, it's hard work though, if you guys have seen my video. It's not, it's definitely not easy. Everybody went home, nobody's making money because I didn't schedule anyone at night. I just need to put a bathroom in, guys. That's all I need, just a bathroom. And then we're good. I need to fast forward through the night. Um, anyways, I guess while we're waiting for the daytime to come along, what else do we have? We have, I don't have enough people handling outbounds. Damn, I assigned people to that. Oh, here we go, daily statistics. Um, Costs, salaries, revenue, result. Ooh, cost me money. Cause I'm not achieving my call goal. Well, nobody's really screaming that they need a bathroom yet. <laughs> hmm. I've only done 205. Okay, so it looks like each one does about 50. Cause I have four inbound call specialists. And I have two outbound call specialists. So they do, oh sorry, about 25 for the outbound and about 50, right? Okay. So I need <laughs> twice, twice the amount of everything in order to make this work. Oh, I lost a lot of calls too. All right. I like, I like these reports. Yes, I want to save my game. Let's see, are we getting into, my mouse doesn't move, oh there it goes, okay. Uh, yep, X to hire janitors, sweet. Well, let's get started with the day first. Um, I think these gentlemen do want a bathroom, but at the same time I know they want... No one likes a messy office. Oh my gosh. I gotta put, I gotta put in a, a, a 
see, I have the problem is I bought these two uh, service centers or you know operation buildings, or whatever uh, service yeah service building block, um, which was actually a mistake right off the bat. I made a mistake, so I desperately need to resolve that. Nobody's screaming at the piss, so I'm about ready to say F it and just hire some more people, like janitors and whatnot, which is actually exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's do that. If they're not happy, they're not gonna make them money, so. Yeah, you could actually, yeah, you can have your own little spot there. Uh, I wonder if hiring more actually helps at all. IT staff can't hire any. And then he went home! Oh, they work at night. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, that, that dude just said he needed to use the restroom, and he's, he's totally screwed. He's screwed. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> I can in just a second, though. So close! Come on. There we go. There, made it. Now, buildings. Sanitary, yep. Ching. Okay, good. You've reached objective. I need to pee installed sanitary facilities. I've been warned. Hey, I got money for that. Sweet, I can hire more people. Four story building. Really? I get to stack cheap buildings and get money back for it? It's like a rebate system. Okay, let's go ahead and everything's still locked. Lots of locked stuff. Um, office staff, service staff. Yeah, yeah. I built those two service staff buildings. And that was a mistake. I'm gonna end up putting people who don't want to be in there in there, but that's fine. Whatever. Okay, I need more outbound. I know people aren't gonna be happy, but I don't care. You will work. Oh, are you taking? Just until, I'll just do this until we actually get another client, in which case I'll have to move them, it looks like. So we just, yes, I know, stop telling me. <laughs> what a wide range of people that work here. We got ball guys, we got all kinds of stuff. 10 employees, sweet. Let's hire another inbound. I just want to stack these inbounds. Uh, I almost have enough to buy another one. My back office stuff needs work. And I can't afford one just yet, but I can now. I know that people aren't gonna be happy working together. I worked in this kind of environment. People do not like working all together. It's the dumbest thing ever. It's just one of those things, it's like, um, we had, for me, it was actually pretty, it was not bad, but our building was separated. So we had engineering and everything and operations all on, on the other side. Or not operations, but engineering and like uh, admin and whatnot, all on one side of the floor. Our, our business actually, uh, we had two floors uh, in the financial district of uh, San Francisco, right? It was really, really nice. Um, super, super profitable company, right? It was a company, a startup, did really, really well. This one chander is not gonna be able to clean everything. He's taking forever on that one spot. Stop cleaning that one spot. Oh my God. What is he cleaning? Does it take that long just for one thing? I need to hire another janitor. Anyways, um, the, yeah, that company I worked at was, was fantastic. It was really, really great. Uh, see, done 222. Okay, I lost money. Okay, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed. Uh, I know I need back office. I know I need outbounds. Yes, I want to save my game. All right. Okay. Objective. <laughs> Get a thousand dollars. Get five hundred. Um. Anyways, yeah, it, it was an absolutely great company to work for. Uh, the outbound section was actually handled by another group. We never did cold calls or anything. Like that. that was actually another group all together that handled that. All of my, all of my business, all the people that I managed. Uh, we were all inbound stuff, and uh, the type of business actually was the most interesting part. Uh, basically, when I worked there, obviously the company kind of split later on, I'll tell you why. Uh, when I first started working there, we were a, it was IT, so like if you have like computer questions like how to build a website, or if you have like even legal questions, right, tax, whatever, uh, it was a site dedicated to that. There was a site dedicated to psychics, uh, and there was a site dedicated to uh, phone sex. So, um, I technically was able to say I used to work for a phone sex, com phone sex company. <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun because here's what's funny. Uh, I have IT techs. Yes, good. 
Uh, what's what's funny is your perception on how all this stuff works, like psychics and phone sex operators, and all this stuff, is, albeit maybe some kind of some some level of accurate. Uh, it's probably still pretty far off, honestly. Um, the these people are all very business savvy, right? Uh, the while all of them are relatively business savvy, uh, like I guess in general. The phone sex operators are actually the the most tech savvy. Like these these girls, uh, you know, they're obviously predominantly girls. We had males on the site too, and the males were the most hilarious because they'd call up and they would talk about their how they participate on that side of the business, right? I don't want to go into detail or anything, uh, but they would say, uh, "This is the easiest job I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like all I have to do is tell guys that call because it was guys that called the males uh, for the most part." Um, I just tell guys that call it, they're like, you know, pieces of crap and basically belittle them and talk about, you know, their sexual preference, like in a derogatory fashion, if you guys are actually picking up what I'm saying here. Um, and they paid for it. And I was like, damn, son, that's awesome. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I ain't even gay. And I'm like, that's great. Like, I guess you don't have to be in order to service that particular type of industry. Sure, why not? Um, it was a really, really interesting company to work for, man. Like, uh, first day, first day of work. My very, I started off at the bottom before I actually moved my way up to uh, to managing that group. Very first day, I had uh, a young lady that called, and she she started to she was she was drunk, right? <laughs> she was one of the girls who worked for the phone sex side. Um, and she started to go into that side, like, she actually started going into that with me. Uh, she actually built out a scenario, uh, talking about how she was in an elevator, it was just her and I, and she's wearing a really short skirt, and the elevator gets stuck. Like, she's describing all of this like you would see, you know, maybe on a video on some, you know, uh, less than reputable uh, websites. Um, and I was just like really quiet and she just kept going and she kept going and I'm just like, holy crap, like what the, heck? what do I do? I'm sitting here and I'm like, am I gonna get fired because this woman's having phone sex with me involuntarily? <laughs> am I getting, am I getting phone raped? What's going on? I had no idea what I was doing or how to handle anything. Um, so, I can't afford recreation? No, boy, I'm not even close. Office, nope, service, nope, nothing yet. Okay, so let's let the money roll in. Um, anyways, so... It was just like, I didn't know what to say, and so at the end, my, my, literally, my response was, Wow, you're pretty good. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Oh my god. But that was the first, and that was the last time that happened. I, I, I never had anybody call in, uh, and literally just start having, uh, or going into the whole, uh, phone sex thing with me. I was, I was... I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think, but it was it was a fun job uh, dealing with the the psychics, dealing with the um, the phone sex operators, dealing with the, the legal guys. You'd have a lawyer call, and then you'd have it followed up by somebody talking about how Mercury is in retrograde. Right? You might want to Google that. Um, then you'd have somebody follow up right afterwards talking about how you know some guy was saying something, whatever. Uh, fun job, man. Let me tell you, definitely one of the most interesting jobs I've had. And now we're just burning through the night. It's a good thing I have stories to tell at night. Because <laughs> we're because there's not a lot of stuff to do outside of watching the janitor run around and not do enough work. Work harder. But anyways, yeah, I was like the I wanna say I was the I came in just before they had hired like a hundred employees. So I must have been like the 90-something employee. We had two floors. Uh, everybody was great. It was definitely a startup type atmosphere, and then we were acquired by uh we were acquired by a major a major provider uh by provider i mean like you know a communications provider i could say uh and then they didn't want to have anything to do obviously with the phone sex side much penalty instead of bonus at the end of the day focus on one of the clients or work goes at a time hmm i guess that makes sense when i get money i'm gonna build another uh center do I have an empty desk? Is this an empty desk? Oh, I think I think I do have an empty desk. I should hire someone to put them in there. Oh no, never mind. And this is also taken. 
I'm making money, but I'm just not making enough. Let's slow down a little bit. I think I could make a building here. Uh, we'll go service. I was going to put a recreation in there, but they're not that unhappy. Oh, 2750? Oh, almost. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Operations, not service. Woo, I almost screwed that up again. You'll work on that. Now I have enough money to start putting... Let's, yeah, let's just start hiring just inbound agents. How's that? And we can start moving people around. You are an outbound. Do you have, an, have a straight inbound somewhere? IT. You're an inbound, aren't you? Inbound. You're going to move. Moving your desk. <laughs> right. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and move your desk. Mm -hmm, thanks. Anybody else? Any other outbounds mixed in? Yeah, I think inbound. Inbound. You're at home. Home sleeping. Okay, I can hire another one. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get them going here. I'm gonna get myself up to the point where I can afford uh, this last one here, and then I'm gonna work on scheduling. Having people here all night would be great because then the workflow doesn't stop, and I won't end up with queues at the restroom. I won't end up with queues at the toilets or at the uh, the food center. Just, I won't end up with queues at the elevator. So if I can eliminate queues everywhere, that'd be good. I just realized I said queues, and that's not necessarily something that... <laughs> it's kind of weird. Been hanging on the internet too long. You overseers are rubbing off on me. Uh, IT staff, janitor. I do need another janitor. Oh, I do have an empty spot. Sweet. I don't know if two of them is going to be enough to handle everything. But let's go ahead and handle scheduling. Oh, I have to oh, on an individual basis? Are you kidding me? Don't do it while they're here, do I? I can do it from here. My clients, my objectives, tutorial. My first reg resignation is an objective. <laughs> Recreational facilities, get out of here. Fired somebody. Wow, you got your fire people. That's great. Okay, everyone's going home, and I don't see a way to schedule. I should have another... There should be another janitor. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay, so, let's talk about the game for a minute. Um, I can see why these games are popular. Done 415, outbound 105. Okay, we're just going to bang out inbound. I'm going to build another section or something and just focus on inbound. Um, good revenue, but I, I do want to complete that. Having lost calls is not, that's not good, especially for inbound calls. Outbound, yeah, I feel like, uh, well, my outbound per is actually more, wait, it costs more people to get there. Uh, need more back office people. Let's just keep going, let's just keep going. We'll focus on just one thing. Anyways, um, when I first saw this game, my, Initial impression was this is a browser game. It needs to be in a browser or as a mobile game. It needs to be on a mobile device because that's what these games, these types of games, this is a social style game, right? I feel like this is the kind of thing that people play online. I, I've seen it. You have seen it. Um, after playing it in this capacity, right, on an Xbox or you know, via, via these these means, right, with a controller and whatnot, uh, granted, moving the mouse around like this is kind of annoying. Uh, you do get used to it. I, I don't feel like it's bothering me that much anymore. Um, but I, I, I still feel like these things are better off there. However, there are clearly tons and tons of people that love these styles of games. I'm enjoying this right now. Uh, I have no issues with it whatsoever. The the characters look fine, right? I mean, the artwork is, is great. Um, I haven't run into any, like, game-breaking bugs or mechanics that are just, like, stupid or anything. Everything works. Operational manager, sweet. I get to hire uh, almost a me. Um, but there... I just don't... I don't know if there is a market on the Xbox for this. Like, this is a... Uh, I want to say a... A, just a social gamer that maybe has an Xbox or maybe has a son or a daughter that has an Xbox and now they have a game they can play. Oh my god, this guy's computer is blowing up! Where's the IT guy? Oh my god, everyone's computers are blowing up. I have an IT guy, what the heck? Okay, hold on a second. Where is he at? Is it this guy? Which guy is it? I want to say it's... 
You're an inbound agent. You are an inbound agent. You are inbound agent. Oh crap, I, I know I have, damn. Oh my God, computer's blowing up left and right. This guy, is that the, my AT staff? <laughs> yes, that's how it's done. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I uh, I have a coworker that would definitely appreciate an old coworker who would definitely appreciate this this method of of uh, fixing machines. I need more IT staff. All right, do I have an empty spot anywhere? Let's get an IT staff in here. Actually, let's go ahead and move. Uh, what are you? You're inbound. Let's move you. Do I have a spot up here? I think I do not. Son of a balls. All right, you guys just have to suffer, man. That initial mistake of buying up all those service. Uh, all the, uh, operation stuff is, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sorry, service buildings, yeah, service buildings, service operations, service operations. Um, that is definitely, definitely hurting. I love how this guy's fixing that computer. That is just hilarious. Let's go and speed things up a little bit, because I'm not going to be doing anything else here for a minute. So look, now I'm getting a queue. I'm getting, oh, actually, no, no, that's right. I need to set their schedules. So let's go ahead and you, your new schedule is... You're gonna work the night shift, buddy. Okay, I can't hold it down. No, no to developer. If I hold down the up button, it should move up really fast. I don't want to sit here and click, 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 click all the way through this whole thing. Oh my gosh. Yes, please work on that. I'm putting up as fast as I can. Okay, is that it? Okay, really? That's it? Hmm. Okay, and uh, you, sir. I know you just walked away, but I need to get you on a schedule. Of course, it's gonna leave a gap because they started tomorrow. That means I'm gonna have nobody here uh, in the morning on that floor. I'll just make that. Well, no, I'll spread it out a little bit. Like maybe two per floor or something. Woo! Uh, what is your problem, bro? I understand. Damn, so elevator. See, elevator. <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen. All right, let's get these people on a different schedule. Oh, maybe it's because maybe it's from the time that I actually set them up. Yeah, it looks like it. I can, I, can, I guess I can adjust it again tomorrow or something. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's I, I just don't know if there's a market for this on the Xbox, but clearly the game is fun. Uh, it is, it, it is intuitive. Wh regardless of whether or not, again, I don't play Sim Tower, so I can't tell you guys if it's um, something that's, those of you guys who play Sim Tower or, and are the, the biggest white knights of the game are gonna just like rage over the comments about, uh, but, I don't actually know if that matters, right? I mean, I understand whenever a game comes out and it, like it, it's inspired by something else heavily, right? It's the best way to put that. Um, you get kind of mad about it, but if it's done right, then it's kind of like, well, why didn't you know this? Why didn't The Sims, you know, The Sim Tower move to Xbox? You know, if there was a market there, it took an indie dev who saw the uh, the opportunity and he jumped all over it. Kudos to him, right? Your schedule. Let's go ahead and put that up. Oh, you know what? No, F this guy. I'm gonna make you come in earlier. <laughs> he's gonna get off and he's gonna come back in like way earlier the next day, but he's happy, so he's fine. Woo, he is not gonna be happy at all. Oh, that guy's computer just blew up. You, I didn't set your schedule yet. No. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Okay. How about you? Uh, yeah, I can bring him earlier. Oh, well, yeah, actually, no, he's good. Let's go ahead and bump him up. Get him out at midnight. Or close to. That works. All right, let's speed things up. People here working the late shift. This guy's mad. Why? Caught lying. This is a product. I don't belong here. What's the meaning of life? All of these feelings, these guys. Oh, my IT guy needs to work at night. The second I get enough money to buy another building, it's got, it's got, it's gonna be operations. And then I'm gonna move all the operations guys into the operations building. And then 
I'll populate the service center with all of the IT guys and janitors and whatnot. I clearly need more janitors. My guys are pigs. But yeah, I'm interested in knowing what you guys think, right? Um, I'm sure you guys have friends or parents or relatives or whatever who, who, who like do nothing but play sim style games like this, these types of office manager style games. Um, I've not seen one for call center though. I've seen like various others, but like for a straight up call center, which is one of the things that actually I was kind of turned on by. I was like, oh yeah, call center. I used to do that for a little bit, right? Um, I've not seen one for this specifically, and it's kind of great that you have it on this level, inbound, outbound calls and all of that, right? Um, yeah, I'm curious what you guys think. Like, what are your thoughts on, in terms of what, uh, how this kind of thing like fits in the market right now, especially on a, on, a, on, a, on a platform that you typically don't see social style games sitting on. You don't have access to hire operational staff, operational coaches. Oh, dude, come on, you guys, stop blowing up your computers. Only go to agents and surrounding buildings. Make sure you cover all of your operations buildings. Right, well. Oh, congratulations, one of your workers has resigned. Uh, okay. Who, which one was that? Did anybody catch that one? I guess we'll know the sec we build another building here, which we're gonna do right now. Let's see, took me a second, I'm like, right now? Yeah, okay, right now. Can't put it over here, let's go here, yeah. Oh, I can't go up? Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll start from here, huh? Interesting. No, you know what I'll do? Can I build off over here? Yes. I only have one client, because I'm terrible at this. Okay, you are gonna move. You are here. You. We're gonna move over here. You are also gonna move over here. And then you are the last one, I think, inbound. Yep, you are gonna move. And you just blew up your computer! The second, I, now I'm reassigning you because you blew up your computer. Okay, now let's get more IT guys in here. And the one I get in now is gonna work at night. I'll give him the computer that he has to kick. There you go. He immediately just starts kicking. Uh, let's go and get another IT staff. Oh, how much money do I have? How much does it cost? 600. Well, I'm making I'm making bank right now, so I'm good. Uh, God, janitor too. So, one, one more IT staff. And then we'll do a janitor. Come on, make some money. Come on, just 11 more dollars. There we go. There we go, okay. This should, be, this should suffice for now. And then I'll hire janitors. Uh, hire a bunch of janitors, actually. If I keep all the janitors on one floor, that might help. And I'll IT guys in another. Actually, it doesn't matter. They're all service guys. I don't think the game cares. Oh, that's how I do. Uh, I, damn. I'm doing good though. My, my work, my workload is clearly increasing. A little herky jerky there. Oh, I lost my. Oh, that's right. My penalties came in. Oh, that means I could have bought something before my penalties kicked in. Damn, I should have slowed it down. Look at money just disappearing all night long. Yeah, but anyways, going back to the I used to work and they have to do gaming thing. Like, I obviously can't thank anybody other than you guys, right? And I think that's great. Uh, I think it's awesome that you guys have uh, <clears throat> watched my videos and enjoyed them for the most part. Uh, <laughs> I would say the majority of you are, are, are satisfied, which is awesome. Uh, I'm happy doing this. You guys are happy watching. And I'm happy that you're happy because um, it makes my job a lot easier. And it tells me that, you know, for the most part, I'm doing things right. Uh, learning process, of course, you know, you learn stuff as you go along, but uh, it's still fun. And, uh, yeah, so thank you to you guys <laughs> for watching me play, <laughs> organize a call center here. Early on, it takes time to close a new deal and unlocking stuff. I don't, I don't want to unlock a new deal yet, though, Kai. 
Oh man, I want to. Oh, are you a? You're an outbound. Okay. I don't think I have a spot any. Wait, what was the outbound move? Oh no, I was moving inbound there. I think you're an inbound, aren't you? Yeah. Or oh, it. Oh, I can tell by the by the black shirts and the mohawks. <laughs> I think I have a night guy working up here somewhere in one of these two slots. One of these slots is actually open. And I have money coming in, so let's go ahead and get another janitor in here. The guy's pissed, probably because of the elevator thing. I don't have enough for money for another elevator, bro. Although I should have... I should have put another... I should put an elevator on this side. Damn. Yeah, the elevator's too slow. How much is the elevator? Five thousand. They have to deal with it. They just have to deal with it. That's all. And I shouldn't have gone so high. I should actually expand outward. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter much. Woo. Okay. Uh, a manager. Uh, should manage. Just okay, coach. Okay, I can afford both. Do you have anybody that doesn't belong over here that can move? You're an IT. Don't I have a service guy that works in here somewhere? Or did I actually clean them all out? My back office stuff needs a hell of work. My inbound outbound's coming down slowly though. Where's my night, guys? I know I have one in here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's just janitors. Sweet. No IT guys at night. What a mistake. Damn. All night, these guys are not getting anything done! How much does that cost me? Okay. Yes. Alright. I have to hire... <laughs> I have to actually end the show sometime here really soon. Really, really soon, actually. Because I actually have to, you know, render it, upload it and whatnot. IT staff. Oh, I thought I had a spot. Oh, well, guess what, dude? You're hanging out in here for now. Well, hold on a second. I think I found my other... my. There you are. You are moving in over here. And now I'm going to hire my IT guy. Here. And you... No, come back, come back, come back. Slow down, slow down. You... Oh, can't touch you when you're in an elevator, huh? There, your schedule... It's going to be nights. Before you take off or go anywhere. No, you're working nights, buddy. Come back. Come back to work. Oh, I guess it doesn't take place till tomorrow. Damn. I give them a vacation. I can fire them. That's great. I have money. I have money coming in. I need another elevator. Yep. That would help. Oh, God, even all these janitors are not enough. Look at that bottom left floor. It's just terrible right now. Oh, he's going home. Can any of them make it over there in time? And scrub, 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 scrub. Oh, and he leaves. <laughs> Account managers. I know I need to hire more of these, of these back end guys, like, to just take care of stuff. But damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, uh, I have to end this, but uh, as you can see, the game is clearly uh, <laughs> enough fun for me to continue going. We know that these types of games are uh, addicting. We know they are. I mean, I could keep on going with this. Uh, I don't I, I don't see how I could lose, actually. How can I lose? I guess just go to say, oh, who's that guy? Who's that guy? He's pissed. This guy. Damn, so Ill I don't belong here. Oh, he was just raging two seconds ago. Can't believe I had some... F Oh, you, oh, dude, what? Really? Wait, who, who's at the lowest? Who's at the lowest happiness level? I'm gonna fire somebody. I'll show you guys what it looks like. You, sir, you are fired. For no reason whatsoever. Are you sure? Yes, fire. Uh, get out! Go home! <laughs> now I'm <hire> another one. <laughs> I fired somebody. I've been awarded minus $300. That's funny. God, all these guys. Look, his computer blew up and he's just like, F it, I'm out. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So this game is called Smooth Operators. 
Uh, and it's available on the Xbox Live Video Game Market for $1. You can seriously probably play this game forever, uh, and it costs a dollar. It's, it's, it's very difficult to pass something like this up uh, if you have an Xbox, and if it's something you like to play on the Xbox. Xbox has such a wide variety of titles and genres assigned to it. This is one that I just didn't necessarily think would ever make it there. Uh, but for those who are looking for a Sim Tower-esque game, uh, you had you now have it on the Xbox. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Those of you guys who have played Sim Tower and whatnot, uh, let me know in the comments below. And I'm curious to see what you guys' responses are and see how you guys feel about about these types of games moving to the Xbox. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll probably see uh, Angry Birds and crap like that <laughs> on the Xbox soon, if not already. I've already seen something like it for the PS3. Uh, I should probably check. There probably already is one actually on the Xbox, but we'll find out. Mike BAK Phony, Indie for Breakfast. I will see you guys later.